Late last year, the West Memphis City Council hired an independent attorney to investigate two West Memphis police officers with serious allegations against them. But in this report, the attorney, Florence Johnson, indicates the police department did not let her complete that work when they allowed one of the officers to return before she'd finished her month-long investigation. She writes female employees complained about Lieutenant Charles Birch and for years about Major Stacy Allen. The attorney writes there were allegations of gender discrimination and retaliation against Birch, but since they already let him come back, she didn't go into specifics. She does write employees do not feel past complaints have been addressed and says she never determined if the city had done anything to address the current complaints against Birch, other than to move him to a different location. Once the independent investigator finished her report, West Memphis Mayor Marco McClendon sent this press release to WREG. In it, he only mentions Major Allen's case, which led to a five-day suspension without pay. We asked McClendon about the way they handled Birch. Why was Charles Birch allowed to come back to work in December? Well, Charles Birch had an opportunity to come back into December because of the simple fact that some of the allegations that were levied against him <clears throat> when me and the city attorney had an opportunity to look at those allegations. We didn't find enough in there that we felt that we should terminate him. Notice he says he and the city attorney looked at the allegations, even though the city was paying an independent investigator to do just that. And he says they didn't find evidence to terminate, but doesn't talk about a possible suspension without pay. Instead, here's all McClendon would say. He reprimanded and not to reprimand that he was sent back to work. How was he reprimanded? Well, I can't speak on that. Personnel records show Birch has been with the West Memphis Police Department on and off since 2008, with several disciplinary issues as well as promotions and achievements. The current lieutenant's issues began in 2010, when a memo shows he was relieved of duty following an officer-involved shooting. In 2013, he was suspended for accidentally firing his service weapon in his car during training at the police department. Later that year, he resigned and then came back in 2014. Why didn't you wait for the investigation to finish like you did with Allen? Due to the fact there were more pressing uh, complaints against Allen than it was with Birch. We found Birch and told him we were looking into his suspension. He didn't want to comment. Is there anything you want to say to people about the allegations against you? According to a document we obtained labeled investigation talking points, city officials believe no violation of policy was found with regard to Birch's conduct. And they do say they're taking steps to improve, like hiring a new police chief, Michael Pope, previously with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. What lessons are you taking from the Shelby County Sheriff's Office that you think could be implemented in your new role? Most importantly, professionalism. In West Memphis, Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3.